Now with part two of our series, Spotlighting Historically Black Colleges and Universities in honor of Black History Month. This morning, we're sharing the story of an incredible classical arts program. It's called Shared Voices, which bridges the gap between HBCU students and those at conservatories, aiming to create a more inclusive environment. When it comes to hitting that perfect pitch, Seeing that black composers, black singers, black conductors, it opens up a new door for us. These students from across the nation are spot on. Coming together in unison to uncover hidden voices in opera. It's important for us to understand that we can sing different genres of music other than just R&B, other than just rapping. The program called Shared Voices, connecting classical art students from historically black colleges and universities with those from other conservatories like Juilliard. I wish that I could speak as much about Florence Price as I could Mozart before I did this lecture recital, but unfortunately I can't. No, try that again. A series of vocal master classes. I think you can afford to maybe take up a little brighter tempo and see how that feels. Led by Grammy-winning opera singer Denise Graves. The decision to work with young people and to develop and nurture young and emerging talents has been one of the greatest gifts of my life. In this year's inaugural cohort, you can find tenor Morgan State's Kevin Webb. The camaraderie that is built between these types of interactions, being open to different ideas from people who may not have the same background. The goal is to build a more inclusive classical arts landscape for future generations. And I'm so happy that joining us now is Grammy-winning opera singer and founder of Shared Voices, Denise Graves, as well as singer Kevin Webb, who is a student at Morgan State University. You can, you can applaud, yes, you can applaud. Oh, no. We got a Grammy winner here, come on. You heard Kevin sing. Let's see, last year having breakfast with George and with Michael and you come strolling in, you were already there and you were telling me about this program. You sent me the information. I didn't know this is the two year anniversary of your T foundation. Today, today. Of the foundation of which Shared Voices is a part of. How did this all get going? It really was inspired by my students. Uh, I'm on faculty at Peabody Conservatory and also at Juilliard and working with those young people and hearing the sort of gaps of vulnerability that exist um, in the profession and what they need. It was really out of an wanting to be helpful um, to, their, to their path, to mm -hmm. their journey forward, and wanting to also offer them what so many have extended to me throughout my life that's just been incredible and just wanting to do that part to support them and to, you know, completely invested in their success and want to see them get out there and have the lives that they dream of. Uh, right, and you're a fine example of that, oh, uh, thank Denise. You. But, thank you know, you. there's so many hidden voices right. in the classical arts. What is it that you want to get the word out? What do you want the world to know? Right, so thank you. So the foundation, the Denise Grace Foundation is, is, is centered around American, um, the classical vocal arts, mm -hmm. social justice, and American history. And it's about bringing into rightful prominence those great, fantastic artists who have been left out of the telling of the American story. Um, and so what we want to do is create a more inclusive, classical, uh, refined arts landscape that um, highlights and celebrates the works of the, all of those great artists that have become the rich tapestry that is America. Mm. So that's what we want to do. The American story. The American, the American story. story. All right, Denise, thank you. Kevin. <laughs> Good morning. Morgan State <laughs> University. Yes, All in right. the house. Yes, that's in right. The house. So uh, upon graduation, what do you want to pursue um, in opera? Well, I initially wanted to go into teaching, and I still plan on mm -hmm. going into teaching, um, but it, it, as, of, as of recent, um, it's been made clear that it's, I actually have a, a good chance of having a performance career. So um, my, my goal, <laughs> my goal, my, my plan is to, you know, study as much as I can while I can. Right. And kind of, you know, put my feelers out there and just start, you know, uh, hitting the ground running, really. Um, that's really all it. Uh, okay. So that's all it is. You want to hit the ground running right here on Good Morning America? <laughs> sure. Would you, like, would you like to, Kevin? Absolutely. Please take Absolutely. a stroll over. Yeah. Absolutely. Let's hear it. <laughs> And at the piano is Marvin Mills. Total 
She was like, you were almost like conducting <laughs> over here. Breathing, breathing and singing breathing. with him. That was beautiful, Kevin. Thank you, thank you, thank and you. And you had a wonderful audience here. <laughs> from shared Some audience. Of our <laughs> cohort members from, mm -hmm. we've got Fisk University and Morehouse and Morgan and Howard and Juilliard and Peabody and Manhattan School and Oberlin College Conservatory, all part of the yeah. cohort. And the Metropolitan Opera, which is a partner of ours and Smithsonian, so. We have an amazing team assembled. And you are an amazing woman. What you are doing and what you have done and what you will continue to do. And I'm glad that you came up to me at me breakfast. Me too! <laughs> oh, no. like, we're reuniting. Right. And it feels so good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say to you. Uh, it's great to have you all here in Times Square. Okay? Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.